Good afternoon. We are live. Hello, it's Victoria Gallagher here, and I'm actually coming to you from two places. I'm so excited. I am streaming to you live on my new Facebook page and on my Practical Law of Attraction Facebook group. And I'm doing this, and it's all possible because of StreamYard, which I just upgraded to moments ago. So we're going to see how this works. So did you know that the biggest obstacle, the biggest obstacle to achieving success in your life is what? It's your beliefs. It's what you believe is possible for you. If you believe something is possible, then it's possible to achieve it. And so what causes you to believe something or not believe what it what you want to believe really comes down to your thoughts and the quality of those thoughts, the thoughts that you are having most of the time, most of the time. So what I'm about to share with you today could literally change your life. All right. So today I'm going to share with you my top three strategies that are going to help you to eradicate the negative thoughts and begin to turn those around so that you can think in more positive ways and more productive ways and focus on the thoughts that are going to change the beliefs so that you can have the results that you want so that you can achieve your desire. All right. So hello, powerful manifestors. I'm Victoria Gallagher, Law of Attraction hypnotist and number one best-selling author of the book, Practical Law of Attraction. And I am here to help you to tap into the power of your mind and align yourself with the manifesting conditions and successfully attract your dreams, your goals, and a life you love. And so be sure to like this video or love it if you're here on Facebook, subscribe to my channel or like me on Facebook, uh, click the bell icon and so that you can get notified about any of the new videos as they come out. All right. And then I'm going to ask you to go ahead and leave a comment here. Um, if you're here Let's see here. Uh, Alex says, I read the weight loss. It's super good. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you saying that. Now, I'm going to try not to get too distracted with the, the comments because now I'm coming th to you through StreamYard. I can actually see the comments, which is really cool. I wasn't able to see them before. So this is really making me very happy. All right. So a question came in this morning on my Facebook group from one of my powerful manifestors in my Law of Attraction group group where I'm actually currently recording this video. And the question was this, how can I, and you know, cause I'm talking like this with my hands so much, I actually just got my Fitbit steps. <laughs> it, sometimes when you do this a lot, you actually get Fitbit steps. I don't know if you know that, but it's actually kind of cool. Uh, so if you can't get up, you know, just talk with your hands a lot and you'll actually get your Fitbit steps. All right. So that, that's not a tip. That's an extra bonus tip that I wasn't planning on talking about today. All right. So the question came in, how can I get rid of the negative background thoughts when I want to have positive ones, all right? They're unwanted manifestation, noise, disturbance popping in, even though I don't want to. And the thing is, is none of the thoughts that we think that are negative are thoughts that we really want to have. I and mean, we don't really set out in the middle of our day or the beginning of our day say, you know what? I'm planning to think negative today. I, I want to think negative. No, it's not there because we intend to. There's sneaky little bugs that just are in our head and it's our default thinking. These are thoughts that are continuing to kind of run in the background and they're running based on 
old programming and and existing programming and unless you get a hold of them unless you stop them they're going to continue to be there and they're going to continue to unconsciously sabotage what it is that you desire to manifest and you know so it's a great question that he asked and this is the key really to success I believe another big key is asking questions. Don't be afraid. If you're struggling and having a challenge with some area, you know, don't be embarrassed because we are all struggling at in some way. Even when you reach super high levels of success, you know, just to get from there to the next higher level of success, there is a barrier, there's a limitation. And so it's okay to put yourself out on a limb, be vulnerable, ask the great, honest, authentic questions, be willing to take those kind of risks and ask the questions that are gonna help you to be able to grow and be expand and, and become better at this whole manifesting thing. Because here's the thing, all right? In my book, Practical Law of Attraction, I talk about these eight manifesting conditions. And some of you may know them by now, and some of you, maybe you haven't even read the book yet. And I'm going to encourage you to do so because it's really going to help you to align all of these conditions that ultimately need to come together in order for you to manifest ne the next great thing. And it's not just like a one-time thing. I mean, this is an ongoing process. It's like, you know, you don't just go to the gym, build big muscles and get in, into good shape and then stop having to go to the gym and work out, right? It's the same thing with our minds. We have to continue to, you know, old, overcome these old negative thoughts, beliefs, feelings that are getting in our way of having the great things. But once we do get rid of those thoughts, it's not like the thoughts aren't going to just somehow come back. Same way that the fat on our body isn't going to just somehow come back if we don't continue to exercise and eat the right foods. We've got to continue to feed ourselves the right information and do the exercises. So today I'm going to actually help you with uh, several different exercises to help you. It's not just like a one-pronged, one-answer approach. I'm going to give you three tips in a moment here. They're going to help you to get these thoughts eradicated. And you see a lot of people have heard about the law of attraction and they go on a 30 day spree of making vision boards and trying to, you know, uh, say positive affirmations to themselves every day. They write down their goals. They put their stickers and all over the place and in, in their manifesting planners and, and what have you. All right. And then they turn around and after they've been doing this for a little while, they say, I quit. It doesn't work. It didn't happen for me. Well, you know what? If I quit and it doesn't work, wasn't still part of the ongoing conversation that is going on in the background while you're saying all your positive manifestations, then that wouldn't even come up. That wouldn't come up in 30 days if you had changed the way that you think. And so I quit or it's never going to happen or it doesn't work. You know, th those, those types of things still have to be dealt with. You still have to deal with those old negative, uh, you know, thoughts and you know and, and and so you'll you know you'll make these vision boards you'll say your affirmations but then maybe you're spending the rest of the day being subject to default thinking, being subject to the thinking of everybody else, being subject to the news and what, what you're uh, hearing about, uh, all the bad news out there. And so you can't possibly feel like in a good high vibration if you're continuing to feed yourself negative and allow these negative thoughts to be there and having a lot of doubts and having a lot of fears and having a lot of anxiety and having a lot of complaints. You know, we all deal with these negative thoughts and we always will. They're never going to like completely 100% go away. But what you can do is you can begin to exercise your mind so that they don't have the same kind of impact on you that they're having on you right now. So right now, what I'd like you to do is before I get into the three ways that you're going to eradicate these, I want you to type 
in the comments below. I want you to type in the comments below. And when I ask you to type in the comments below, really actually take out your keyboard and feel your fingers typing these things because this is part of the commitment of you changing your life. If you actually wanna get results in your life, then it's gonna require you to do the things that I ask you to do. And so I'm just gonna ask you right now to type in the comments below. I am committed to manifesting my desires. I mean, and just starting from that, starting from I am committed to manifesting my desires and then typing your favorite feel good emoji next to that. And if you already typed that and hit return, then just go ahead and type your favorite feel good emoji next to that, whatever that is, okay? And so then I'm gonna get into these three ways that you can use to eradicate these negative thoughts, okay? But I want you to go ahead and type in into the comments, all right, that I am committed to manifesting my desires and your favorite feel good emoji, all right? That's the first step. All right, if you want to get positive results in your life, if you want better results, then just you know do the work, do the things that, that I ask you to do. And so here we go. All right, number one, and as I'm saying these, just type in and follow along and scribe with me. All right, so number one is gonna be, number one, drum roll please, silent meditation all right silent meditation so my first subscription to for uh prescription for eradicating those negative thoughts is doing a silent meditation now here's how it's done and here's why you want to do this first thing in the morning before you do anything before you get out of bed even and maybe you get out of bed maybe you get out of bed and you move to the special meditation place if you don't want to you know meditate in bed but sit up sit up with your spine straight to do this actually be in a alert waking state of consciousness and as you're doing the silent meditation here's what i'm going to ask you to do and just do this for a minimum of five minutes in the morning five minutes and i may ask you to increase that if you're already doing it for a period of time then do it for a little bit longer period of time so here's what's going to happen when you decide to meditate silently for five minutes, all right? You're going to hear that noise. You're going to hear those negative thoughts. You're gonna hear them come up. You're gonna hear all kinds of things. You're gonna hear all kinds of noise and distractions because that noise is pretty much always going on in the background. But here's why you want to listen. Because when you're not listening to that noise, it has control over you. It is telling you things under the surface that if you're not hearing those things, it is subconsciously getting you to continue to buy in and believe whatever it is that it's telling you. So the key to breaking through that is to become aware and to be able to hear what is going on underneath the surface. Now, when you hear what's going on underneath the surface, I just only want you to notice it and then move back to your point of focus. And your point of focus during this silent meditation, so you're sitting up, your point of focus may be your breathing, not directing the breath in any particular way, but just simply allowing yourself to notice and observe your breathing. Where you notice that, maybe through your, your nose, maybe through your diaphragm, maybe through your chest, wherever you notice your breathing, just put your attention and focus on your breathing and notice it. And then What's gonna happen is you're going to hear the negative thought or you're gonna hear some kind of thought and it's going to ask you to come along with it, right? It's gonna, it's gonna ask you to continue to ride the wave of that thought and you're not gonna do that. You're gonna say goodbye and you're gonna come back and focus again on your breathing. And the act of doing that is so powerful because what's happening is normally throughout your day, you 
think those thoughts. You just get allow yourself to get distracted and out of focus and focus on these other thoughts. But this is the practice of getting your attention back where you choose to think, how you choose to think and what you're choosing to focus on. That's why we do the silent meditation is just to simply get control over you being at cause, you getting to choose what it is that you want to think about. Okay, so that's number one. Number one is the silent meditation. Number two, I want you to write this down. Write this down in the comments. Number two is play the complaint game, the complaint game. And this is actually, I talk about this in much more detail than I'm gonna go into it right now in my book, Practical Law of Attraction, all right? And there's a whole worksheet and everything that you can download for free on my website. Once you have the book, you'll have access to those downloads. But here's ultimately how the complaint game works in simple terms. I want you to make, I want you to pick an area of your life that you desire to create some kind of result. What is an area in your life that you desire to create some kind of result, okay? And then after you've chosen that area, I want you to like set a timer uh, on your phone for five minutes. And I want you just to allow a stream of complaints that you have in that area to flow through you. And I want you just to write those down on a sheet of paper or on the worksheet that's provided for you. So you're just going to write those complaints down. All right, whatever it is, maybe it's you're in business for yourself, you're a hypnotherapist or your coach. And right now you're complaining about the fact that um, nobody wants to do business online or I can't uh, seem to, business has slowed down dramatically or my clients always seem to show up late or my clients don't uh, want to pay for my services or whatever it is. You know, you just keep coming up with whatever is a, a problem for you, a complaint, something negative. You just allow yourself to stream those negative thoughts, all right? Anything at all that's getting in your way of having what you want, I want you to write those things down. And then opposite those complaints, once you have your whole list of complaints, you've sat down for five minutes with yourself and you've listed the negative thoughts, because these are negative thoughts that are getting in your way. These are things that you're believing that are obstacles to you having what you want. So once you have this list of negative complaints, these, these things that are getting in your way, for each and every one of those complaints, I want you to think about what do I want? What do I prefer? So I want you to write a list of preferences. What would I prefer to have instead? And I want you to state that in the positive sense, meaning that you are representing the new thing, the new idea, the thing that you want. The thing that you don't want would not appear at all in your preference statement. The only thing that you want to have in your new statement is the new idea. For example, if your clients are showing up late and, and you don't like that your clients show up late, you wouldn't say, my clients are never late anymore, right? Because late is still the key word that you're trying to get away from. And if you say the word late, then guess what's going to happen? It doesn't matter if you want it or you don't want it. The law of attraction only hears the word late, whether you want it or you don't want it. And so you want to think, well, what is the opposite of late? What do I prefer to happen instead? Oh, I prefer for my clients to be on time. All right. So that is the new preference statement. And you want it when you're making your preference statements, you want to say it in a way that is believable. So you wouldn't say um, my, cl my clients always show up on time when they always show up late. If they're always showing up late, then saying they always show up t uh, on time isn't believable for you right now. So you're just going to reject that and you don't want to say anything. You don't want to spend time coming up with sentences that are not believable to you because you're just going to reject those ideas. So how do you phrase 
that in a way that is positive and believable to you, you have to use some some little sentence connectors, you know, something that makes that statement true and believable. So how about this? You can just as easily say, I love it when my clients show up on time. All right, I love it when my clients show up on time. So that's just one example. I'm just using the on time as an example of how this gets done. So for each one of those complaints that you have, um, you know, you want to create a new set of statements, which are going to be your new uh, your preferences. All right. So that is that is tip number two. So I want you to write down play the complaint game as number two. All right. And then finally, number three is pattern interrupt. So in in the comments below, type pattern interrupt, pattern interrupt. And next to that, write, what am I manifesting? What am I manifesting? So here's I've got a cat playing in the background here. So here's how this pattern interrupt is going to work. I want you to already, I want you to think about what is the desire that you want to bring into fruition right now? And you might wanna write that in the comments as well. What is the desire that you choose to manifest? And as you come up with that desire, that thing that you wanna manifest, like this is, this is gonna be your new default way that you want to think from now on. Like I want you to, if, if you're manifesting a, a new house, if you're manifesting, uh, you know, a, a certain uh, amount of money uh, in your business, if you're manifesting your soulmate, all right, I want you to get very clear about that idea that it, what is it that you're working on? What are you focusing? What are you focused on right now manifesting? What result do you want to create in your life? And so uh, you know, you want to get that whole idea, get the image, get the feeling and get a sentence around that. I am manifesting my dream home, whatever it is. OK, I am manifesting my dream home. And as you allow yourself to say that out loud, I am manifesting my dream home. There's a feeling that goes with that. Think about the feeling of I'm manifesting my dream home. Like, what does that feel like in your body? And allow yourself to feel that vibration. And there's also an image that possibly goes with that as well. You know, you might actually see yourself standing in front of the dream home with you and the people who you're moving in there with, or maybe it's just you, or maybe it's you and your pets or whatever it is, but just see the picture in your mind that goes with that sentence. So you have the sentence, okay, which is the verbal, you have the feeling, which is the kinesthetic, and you have the image, and you have all of those three things together, all right? So now you, you have what it is that you're manifesting. So I want you to already have that, that's the setup. You need to already have that, all right? Whenever you start to hear yourself saying or thinking or feeling the negative thing that comes up, that pops up into your head, whenever you see or hear or feel that negative thing, you're going to stop yourself. All right. And you're, you're going to, you're going to just do something that completely interrupts that thought. I mean, have you ever just had a thought interrupted? Like somebody's uh, you're, maybe you're in an argument with somebody and, you know, and, and you guys are talking really fast and really loud and, and then that person interrupts you and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, what was I even thinking? I don't even remember what I was thinking before. All right. So that's a perfect example of being interrupted, of how, how much I want you to really just interrupt that thought. And so we're, we're literally creating new, 
neural pathway connections in your brain when you do this, all right? Because what happens is you get used to a certain pattern, a certain way of thinking. And that's why it gets so difficult to break out of these, these old patterns of thinking is because, you know, you're just going along and it's just normal and just feels normal. And it's like a worn, a deeply worn, deep groove in your brain. And so easy for you to just keep thinking like that. And so when you find yourself thinking like that, you've got to stop it. And there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. Um, so you had the setup, you've got the new thought, the new way that you want to be thinking. This is how you want to redesign. You want to remap your brain just to actually, whenever you think about the old thing, you want to immediately get into the new thing. And so the, here's the way that I suggest you doing that. Okay. So you literally, you like either snap, you know, like snap out of it. All right. And, and maybe you could even say those words, like you'd snap, snap out of it. Right. Because what, what's happening is you're, you're asleep. When you're thinking those thoughts, you're really asleep. You're allowing yourself just to have these 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 thoughts where you're just not you're not completely aware of what you're thinking. So if you're not really aware of what you're thinking, you're really kind of asleep. You're really uh, continuing the old programming, the old hypnosis that has been there all along, and just allowing yourself to keep reprogramming it. So you need to wake up out of that. And so one way to do that might be just to snap your fingers and say, snap out of it, snap out of it, snap out of it. Maybe just a clap, you know, maybe you clap, maybe you shake, you know, just shake it off. You And you literally shake, you know, just you hear the thought and you maybe you need to say, stop, you know, I'm just giving you a lot of different ways to interrupt that thought, but you've got to interrupt that thought. You've got to do something kind of dramatic to just shake it up. Uh, one of the things, the reason why I call this, what am I manifesting is what we do in our class. One of the exercises we do in our seminar, the law of attraction intensive is I, I have people uh, clap, stand up and say, what am I manifesting? And they literally are asking the question, what am I manifesting? Because you're calling attention to the fact that whenever you're thinking that old thought, you're manifesting that. Because all thoughts ultimately that you focus on for long enough are going to become your reality. So you, you might as well be thinking things that you want to become your reality and not the things that are the old pattern and the old way of thinking, because all that's going to do is just have you living your life on repeat, 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 Groundhog Day, living the same day, day in, day out, day in, day out, thinking the same thought, day in, day out, feeling the same feeling, day in, day out, taking the same action, day in, day out. You got to stop that. The only way that you're going to create a new result is to think in a new way and to feel in a new way and to take actions in a new way. That's the only way that you're going to be able to create the life that you really want. You got to do something new. You got to do something different. You got to think different. So you already have the thing set up. You already have the thought that you're going to put yourself into when you snap out of it. All right. So that's the pattern interrupt. That's the example of how you do the pattern interrupt. Now, that's a lot of tips here. I could have just spent this time giving you one tip, but I gave you three different tips. So I want to know right in the comments below, I want you to know which of these three tips do you plan to use and which are you committed to using? over the next 30 days. Like I want to get some results here. I want you to literally change something in your life over the next 30 days. So what is it that you're going to change and how are you going to go about it? Which of these three tips, because you can literally change your life over the next 30 days, you can get yourself turned around and start moving toward whatever it is that you desire. You know, you may not create a dream home or a million dollars in the next 30 days, okay? But you can surely 
be closer to it and be on the right path and start to create a new belief system planted in your subconscious mind that is directing you toward getting on the path toward what it is that you desire. So if you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon and share this video with your friends, share it with your family, share it with anybody who you know needs this information, all right? So again, write in the comments, which of these three tools you plan to use over the next 30 days starting today and write it like this. I am committed to say, you know, the, uh, the pattern interrupt for 30 days and put the emoji next to that that best represents that technique that you plan to use all right now one more thing is if you have not gotten yourself a copy yet of practical law of attraction all right and you're asking these questions and you're watching this video and you haven't gotten a copy of that book like i've only given you just the very 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 tip of the iceberg of all of the techniques that book is filled with with techniques and strategies that you can use to life to change your life it is a game changer so if you haven't gotten my book practical law of attraction yet pick yourself a copy at pick yourself up a copy at amazon you can get the kindle version or you can get the paperback and also i am getting ready to launch the next manifesting challenge. We did manifesting challenge one earlier in the year and then manifesting challenge two, and we're getting ready to launch manifesting challenge three. So if you're on board, if you're ready to really skyrocket your results and take your life to the next level, then type in the comments below that you, you're planning to be in the next manifesting challenge. Just say, I'm in, I'm in. And if you have already graduated from manifesting challenge one or manifesting challenge two, and you plan to be in my advanced manifesting challenge, then say advanced class in the comments, all right? And so if you're watching this on YouTube, then you can join me live on Facebook at the new Victoria Marie Gallagher page or on Instagram at Victoria M. Gallagher. And if you're watching this live, from Facebook, then subscribe to my YouTube channel at Hip Talk, and you're gonna get access to my whole library of videos, hundreds and hundreds of videos like this, they're gonna help you to change your life. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing to my channel, for comments and for participating in this. I am wishing you amazing success with your life and manifesting your dreams, your goals and desires. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.